All right, dude, I got a serious question, dude. Real serious. Is it bad to play pay with change place? Like, ah, I always do it. Not always. Obviously, because I have so much right now. But, uh, yeah, this right. <laughs> it's like seven bucks, dude. Now, it's not all like bad change, though. It's like freaking. Um, oh, what did I pick B? No, whatever. But it's like quarter, quarters and dimes, and like a few nickels. I had more, but I'm not gonna like dump all of it one time, but yeah, it's like seven Three, bucks right there. It's looking like, like a fast food tomorrow, but I'm gonna get that. But I know some evil kind of complain, but I, I'm kind of like, I don't really care. I get it too, like, they're working like minimum wage jobs, but it's like, hey bro, I get most of that change from fast food. You know what I usually try to do those? I try to like, uh, you just get the green ones? What I usually try to do is like, if I get something, food. I know most people use cards nowadays, but I'm kind of old school. But yeah, if I get food and like a, well, let me make sure. Yeah, if I get food, as you pay, like if it's like five seventy, I'll pay the five in cash, and then I'll put, I'll give them like a dub, and then give them seventy cents. That's what I've been doing lately, but I'm, but it's pretty piled up, dude. Like in my car, my whole change thing is full. So, I'm thinking about tomorrow, I'm dumping that, not all of it, like I said, it's like, I saw more in there for sure, like maybe another $10 or so, no not 10 like 5 maybe, but uh, yeah, here's a funny story actually, the funniest one. <laughs> This is back when I was like freaking 19 or something. Um, we went to. It's actually a really, really crazy story. So we went to freaking McDonald's. I mean, some friends back then. This is. Okay, so if I was 19, this is like freaking 2010 or something, 2011. Somewhere around there. Um, and. I just had a bunch of pennies, dude. <laughs> I didn't order a bunch of food, but yeah, I ordered like freaking. Um, ordered like freaking three dollars. Yeah, the whole three dollars. It might have been more, dude. It might have been more. I don't know. It's definitely like maybe five dollars. But anyways, like <laughs> we got to the window, it was like. You know, 554 or whatever, whatever the, heck, whatever the heck it was. Hey, five dollars gave you a lot of food back then. I think the dollar menu was still going on, so yeah, dude, you know those freaking chicken sandwiches and double cheeseburgers and McDonald's. But anyways, it was like I don't know what I handed it to her, in, but <laughs> it was like a freaking little thing of pennies. I wanted to just like, here you go. And she's like, oh my god, but like it. I don't know, like I was like, like paranoid, like felt weird or something, and I freaking it's like instant karma. Now, I'm not instant karma, come on, I mean, like, it is kind of messed up to pay with that much change, it was like that. I, anyways, I freaking, I wasn't paying attention, and I freaking hit one of those little bars <laughs> that was next to the window at McDonald's, and it freaking knocked off my, uh, my driver's side little window or mirror. Knocked it down. It didn't come off unless it was just wires in there. Yeah, it was like hanging. It was like, oh no, what the hell? It was like, I don't know. Just like one of those random awkward moments, dude. Yeah, that was a little story time there. Yeah, besides that. I mean, yeah, like mostly if I go fast food places and I only have change on me, I usually just like, I try to only use um, quarters, mostly quarters, but if I have to, like dimes and nickels as well. Rarely pennies, unless it's like I said, like, oh, the total's 573, give them a 20 and then like give them like freaking 10 pennies maybe and the rest of them. So I was playing um, 
future game yesterday after beating. Oh yeah, I beat Cyberfunk. Pretty good game. I don't really know if there's play replayability. Everyone's like hyping it up like really, 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 really much. And yes, it is a good game, but you're wrong. Like it is more advanced than um, Jet Set, which it should be. Then again, a lot of newer games do suck, so it is kind of a surprise that it came out so good. But yeah. I don't even know what I was saying. Oh yeah, I beat that game. So then I went back and was playing some um, future, and I forgot that there's no turning, even in this one, because this is like the remake, and you can turn with the, the thumbstick. But in that game, yeah, you can only use the uh, left trigger. I don't know if you can do that in this. Yeah, you can't even do that. How did you turn and? Wait, how did you turn in? It had to have been the left trigger, right? The turning Dreamcast version? Yeah, anyways, I went back to that game and I was like, oh crap. And I was like trying to do like combos, like there are in um, Cyberfunk. And I was like, oh. Like, obviously, you can tell that there's like it's a uh, newer style. Like, in, more uh, technical, but the, you can't really feel it until you freaking go back and play and it's like, oh, not, no, I still think, I don't know which which is the best, huh? They all have good stuff about them, in my opinion. Like this game, really fun, I like the little, the little combos you do for graffiti. The art style is very popping and like colorful. The second one has like, Cool water style too, and it's just like faster movement, and you're just like going everywhere. And I grew up with that one, so there's that. And future, you know, Cyberfunk is just freaking crazy. Like all the new stuff you can do, the art style is really good. Um, it reminds me of like an old school Sega game, the art style. Like from like 2000 or something, it's really, it's really nice. It almost reminds me of like an arcade game. Like the way the characters look and stuff. Wait, do you even have to get all of them? Whoa. How do you get that one? I'm just doing Jet Graffiti, but yeah. Oh, I freaking... I still think this one is the most visually appealing, and then it might be Cyberfunk. Cyberfunk just looks really good, dude. Like the art style. The color palette, I think someone, someone said that, and I was like, oh, that's a perfect phrase. This, is good. this game is a good color palette. Yeah. It's a good term. Term, I mean, phrase. Dude, how do you. Damn, that's crazy. How do you hop up there? That one, too? See, I'm not even a crazy hopper on this game. I don't even know if you have to get all of them. Yes, you do. Definitely not going to though. I'll just do a story mission for this. Dude, oh, I messed up. I was playing this. And I was like, alright, this time I'm gonna get Jet. On every one. But yeah, I think you really need to use like gum or uh, yo yo to get an easy Jet score. And, like, I was using Tab, I think, and I just wasn't getting it, dude. And so, like, I try to. If you beat the map, the mission, you can't. Played again until a new game, so I was like, I was like, ah, I can switch characters, so I just try to press, I try to fell it and press like back to the map, but it it can it, it made it like to where it completed. I was like, no, the low score, so I was screwed. So not to do, I have to wait for a next game, new game, and I'm always gonna play as um, dude, what the hell? I'm always gonna play as uh, probably. Probably gum, I don't know. Maybe yo-yo sometimes. Yeah, I never unlocked the characters. In this game, you can, you can get a new game, which is cool. So, like... I mean, by, like, new game, like, you, you, you carry over the unlocked characters from your previous play. It's, it's really nice. We're dissing this game though, man. 
about to say something, man. What the roll up, man? No, I'm just trying to... Like, uh... Like they're talking like they're talking about Bomber Shabber Funk. I think I already said this in another video, but yeah, they're talking about Bomber Shabber Funk. It's better than Jet Set. It's definitely better than Jet Set Radio. I know a lot of people, like, yeah, I did say this in my last game. Yeah, I know a lot of people hate this game, but like, uh... Dude, you gotta get used to the controls, that's all it is. It's really good once you get used to it. I was like that too, kind of, I'm not gonna lie. Dude, I don't wanna... Actually, I'll do Bantam Street. I don't wanna... Dude, I don't like the, the New York City map, really. Like, it makes you mad. Really mad. The thing I hate about Yo-Yo is just... Oh, and she only holds 15 kings, but yeah, the thing I hate about Yo-Yo is... is He's weird about his combos. Um, wait, what did I pick? Did I pick? Oh, did I picked the race. What the heck? Where do you even go? There's a race on this map. See, I haven't done any of this stuff. Oh, he's beat me for sure. Oh, he didn't go up there. Wait, it's not there. See where the graffiti's at. I'm down to do some of these, I've never really done them, so. I'm trying to um, get a lot of hours into this game, though. I want to get really good at it. I think I have like 60 hours right now. Where, where is this on? Why is he going that way? Let's just follow. Let's see what's up with freaking combo. Where's he going? It's cool, I like how they changed the map around. You freaking piece of crap. That makes sense though, like I hate in the story mode when you're playing combo and little beat knocks here and it's like, dude, there's no way freaking... Whoa, what the heck? I didn't even know you go up to this side. Oh, there it is. Be a little beat knocks you around, it's like, yeah, right, dude, he's not gonna... Damn freaking combo. Alright, I got this. You slow down. Slow down. <laughs> well, I never heard him say that. What? What? Alright, I gotta I gotta get ahead of one boy here. Oh my god, these make you make me sweat, bro. Look at them. It's right on my freaking tail. <sighs> what an idiot. I was like, what? I'd even grab a can either. Where did you, where did you grab a can at? Where'd you get a can at, dude? One, go! Dude, this soundtrack freaking slaps. Y'all slump this in this game, bro. It's me on. No, I'm just like, I hate it, dude. I don't like hearing it. Well, this game sucks. Why am I cyberpunk so good? They're both good, dude. The wax. Oh, there's a can over there. Dude, I could have sworn the song said she's a much better girl. That's she's a magical girl. Like, oh, well, that sounds. That sounds good. She's a much better girl. Better. Screw you, dude. See that? Dude, he's like. I thought I wasn't gonna make it to the wall for some reason. Oh, he's done for. Unless I'm an idiot.
Dude, I don't even have my recorder on. Did y'all do that to me? Alright. I'm gonna end it after I get this. This might be a 45 minute video, this might be a freaking done freaking two minute video. Dude, now my hands smell like freaking change. Someone said this, and I was gonna tell them like that, that's funny because actually, I was gonna say, dude, that's actually I don't even get. It. <laughs> uh, I didn't get the freaking cans. Is this supposed to be like New York? Or what is this supposed to be? Like, it looks like somewhere like there would be in, like Chicago, like on a back street or something. Broly or something. Hey. What was I talking about? Hurry up, freaking... Wait, is he stuck? There's no way he didn't get- Oh... Dude, what's going on? Is he like waiting for me somewhere? If you didn't know in this game, they kind of give you a little... They actually wait for you like halfway through the race. They don't just keep going. And some of them at least. Watch, he's probably sitting right here. Yep. Is this a redeeming redemption time? Where is that game on the original Xbox? It's called that. Uh... I right now. I have, I have the, the PlayStation 1, it's not the same, but it's very close. What does he do? He just stays there? Oh no, he jumps. It's very scary. Watch this one. It's gonna be cool. Yeah, it's this game. Hunter... This one's a Reckoning Wayward, but I'm talking about a... Oh! Damn it. I think on a... On Xbox it's called a Redeemer. There's actually two, I think. But yeah, this is really cool. And, and like, you, I think it's the second one that's on Xbox. And you, you get this chick. She kind of looks like Harley Quinn, kind of, but she has like a machete, I think. And then you fight like this weird... This weird bear boss. It's freaking brutal. I used to love that. It's like, oh, this is so cool. Oh, wait, where am I? It's better. Maybe it's like a shortcut. Oh, Where's he at? <sighs> the thing is, the thing about like when they wait for you. You want to get that boost and jump, so you know when you like... If you can boost and jump, this one's kind of hard, but then some of them, yeah, like they wait, they're waiting right there. If you get like a little boost jump off, it'll... You get ahead of them in a little shortcut area. Dude, don't hit me. Move, move, move. Oh! Dude, come on. Dude, this jet set will make your heart pump. More than future, more than cyberpunk. Three, two, one, go! Thousand percent. This game actually makes me sweat sometimes. Yeah. 
You get like a little adrenaline pump off of it. And this Onyx actually has a difficulty too, you know? Cyberflunk? Not really. Like, I, when I go into it, I know I'm gonna be like. Whatever it's gonna be, I'm not, I basically know I'm gonna beat it. Besides, if, you're, if you don't know what you're doing with the uh, score battles or whatever, that could be kind of crazy. Come on. Wait, what? You teleporting, dude. Again, dude. What if I go this way? Never thought of that. He's already over there, huh? Yeah, oh man, you're making the video too long, dude. He's pretty fast, man. I wonder if you can. Oh, I was gonna say, I wonder if you can. Oh. Freaking. I almost said corn. Corn's not even in this game. Freaking cube with that jump, dude. Freaking pumpkin combo. I was about to say, if he's still somehow right behind me, I'm freaking losing hope. He's getting closer. I'm here. You guys have traumatized me and keep thinking of something. Sixty nine. Peace.